out. Here's RSI on the outside. Set to go. They're ready. About to run. Racing. Jimmy Tesla slow to begin away fast. They're impulsed by. Going up fast, there would have been Lala Ivory moving up quickly. Impulsed by again. Down on the first turn, there would have been Zara's Ivan. Going to the back straight of the lead, there was Lala Ivory. Zippy Tesla zoomed up on the inside. And the Silver Chief went a dash to the lead down, raced away. Five in front. Over Zylan Vale, followed further back by Impulse by. Next to the outside, well grounded Lala Ivory, followed by Kalinda Patty and also Luxton Vale in the straight, though. And Zippy Tesla's going great guns, tearing away wins at six or seven. So Vale second, third in the race would be Impulse by, I'd say. They close up the outside, then well grounded, followed by Lara Ivory. Then came Luxton Vale out to the tail of the field and chased him into the pen there would have been Zara's Ivan. At the time here is around 29.76. Time around 29.76 there. The favourite wins the last of the heat, Zippy Tesla, a touch of class. He's uh, a genuine group one dog patch. He got the luck tonight from the five and he'll join his little sister in the final next week. That he will, and with Corey Heinrich, and Corey, once he settled up, it was game over. I'm sure he took a sigh of relief once he settled up second. It was going to be hard to hold him out. Yeah, not wrong. He, um, when he's that close, it's, well, everyone knows. Everyone's seen what he can do. So if he's that close, it's basically game over, isn't it? They're a good team coming into tonight. Now you're going to next week with half the field in the Australian Cup. Yeah. How amazing is that? Absolutely amazing. Not bad. And props to Mum, Tom and George, and they've bred all four of them themselves. So... Good luck to him. Exactly that. Congratulations. Thanks very much. Corey Heinrich there with half the field in Australian Cup. Of course, famously had seven of the eight runners in the 2011 Melbourne Cup and similar sort of circumstance here, but not as dominant, but still they have half a field in one of the, the country's biggest races, an enormous achievement, especially bred by themselves, which we've touched on. Yeah, and I think that's probably the most telling point of it all, Patch, um, as, you know, as good a trainers as they are to be yeah. You know, to have bred those four greyhounds as well. You touched on the fact that they had seven of the eight in the Melbourne Cup, and of course they were primarily all wheeler bred dogs. But uh, the dailies, and we've spoken at length about this over the last 12 months with uh, the emergence of these litters. Um, they've done a, a, a fabulous job, and well, it could be the culmination of that here next week when they will front up with four starters for the Australian Cup final. Of course, the box draw will be conducted here from the Meadows tomorrow. That will go out on Sky 2, 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. So if you've got a runner or you're otherwise interested, got a bet in the race, tune into Sky 2 tomorrow to see the box draw live here from the Meadows. Myself and Patch will be here to bring you all of that action. And that pretty much takes us away from what's been a, a big, big night here at the Meadows. Uh, tough night to, to land in front on the punt. If you have, I'd say you've, you've done very, very well. It's a night where we've seen a lot of upsets and I, you know, for me, I think the highlight is the fact that we, although have four daily runners there, uh, a number of the other runners, not only in the Australian Cup but in the Fan of Bale, um, will be represented, will be representing kennels that uh, we don't see in Group 1s every day of the week, patches you've come back to me. And I think that's the, the thing next week um, that'll be the most exciting part of it. A lot of new faces and hopefully, hopefully, we get some great racing, some clean racing, some safe racing, and we get some very, very happy connections here next week. For sure, and we're going to see a couple of great stories.